Hey everyone, and welcome to the setup guide for the Resolve Colorist Icon Pack for the Stream Deck Plus. In this video, we're going to talk through the entire installation process. We'll talk through first steps of how to download the Elgato software. We'll talk through the Stream Deck software and how to edit and tweak things. And then we'll go through and install uh, either the master profile backup or the individual profiles for this pack. We'll also import the DaVinci Resolve keyboard preset so all the shortcuts will match up immediately and you don't have to do anything. You can just plug and play and get grading and resolve. You can see here we have the Stream Deck software, but if you haven't downloaded that, the first thing to do is to head to the Elgato website. This link will be in the YouTube description below. Go ahead and select this drop down menu, scroll down to Stream Deck and click on Stream Deck Plus and go ahead and download the Stream Deck software. When that's been downloaded, open it up and you should be looking at a screen like this. Briefly talking about the UI, on the left here, this is where we'll be able to visually see our icons. And on the right, this is where we can assign different commands to these keys. For example, if I wanted to open a website here, I can just click and drag and assign this button to open a particular website. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this here. Now, the reason you may have bought my Resolve Colorist icon pack is that you do not want to spend too much time in this software. You just wanna get into Resolve and start grading. So let's go ahead and do just that. When you download the Colorist icon pack, you will get this folder, which has a version for Mac and a version for Windows. We're on Windows today, so we're gonna double click inside our folder here, and we've got three folders in this first directory, documentation, icons, and profile presets. Clicking on the documentation, you can see that we have a readme folder and a shortcut guide. If we double click on the shortcut guide, you can see that this gives you a comprehensive overview of every profile in this pack, along with the relevant shortcut key. So if you're curious to dig down and understand what shortcut key is assigned to what button, you can go ahead and do this here nice and easily. In the icons folder, we've got all of our icons split into their various profiles. So it's split into dials and it's split into physical buttons. All of these icons are available here stored really nicely. So if there's any icons that you want to add to your own profiles, you can go ahead and store them here. Lastly, and most importantly, here are the profiles and presets that you'll need to get this set up. Firstly, we've got a Resolve preset, and we'll import this text file into Resolve to automatically set the shortcut keys that we want. We've also got a Stream Deck Profiles folder, which has our master Stream Deck backup, and each individual profile if you want to install them that way. So minimizing this here, let's go ahead to our preferences and to our profiles. From here, we can import master profile backups or individual profiles. So I'll go down to this drop down menu and I'll go backup all, restore from backup. If you do restore from a backup and you have existing profiles, they will be cleared. So use this with caution. If you have existing profiles, definitely import each profile individually. And I'll show you how to do that in just a second. I don't have any other profiles listed on my system at the moment. So I'm just gonna restore from backup and I'm gonna navigate to the appropriate OS into my profiles presets and click on my master backup file here. I'm gonna click restore. And there we have it. I'm just gonna close out of the preferences and make this a little bit bigger. You can see that we have all of our profiles listed down here and we can swap between them using this drop down menu. Just staying on the home profile for a second as well, you can see we can navigate between the two pages and we have all of our physical key shortcuts and we have our dials here. When we click an active button, you can see that the details, the parameters of the button appear in the Stream Deck software below. So we can tweak the title, we can tweak the icons, we can do all of that from this lower half here. When you use the master profile backup to restore, all of these profiles will automatically link. So if I tap the printer lights key on my keyboard, it will automatically uh, all be linked here, um, nice and easy. If I click on the exit toggle here on my Stream Deck, it goes back to the home page. This is definitely the easiest option to immediately get started using this pack. While we're here, let's break down the pack and see how it's laid out. On the first page of the home screen here, we can access our seven individual profiles that have a whole host of shortcut keys designed for that task. For example, if we click on the conform button on our Stream Deck Plus, this will open up our conform profile, which again has specific shortcut keys and dials that are specifically targeted towards making conforming nice and easy. Hitting the exit button up on the top right hand corner, it brings us back to our home profile. 
Each profile is limited to two pages. This is a very small device, and I found that any more pages than this makes it a really unsatisfying and overwhelming experience. So I limited all my profiles to two pages so that all the shortcut keys are just one swipe away at any point. The way that you navigate between the pages on the Stream Deck Plus is you just swipe the LCD screen on your Stream Deck device. Nice and easy. A quick note about the home page here. You can see that some of these profile buttons are just a simple switch profile button. But if we go, for example, to the edit, this is actually a multi-action button. So if we go ahead and click on the content of this multi-action button, it will automatically toggle the hotkey Shift 4, which in Resolve swaps you to the edit tab. And then it also swaps you to the edit profile. The reason why I've done this is because the shortcut keys that you'll find in the edit tab are only really relevant in the edit tab in Resolve. So by tapping on this edit profile, you will immediately go to the edit tab in Resolve, saving you a step. The conform menu does not have this functionality, but the grading profile does, again, because when you are using these hotkeys, you will be in the grading profile. So again, it automatically does that step for you. So in Resolve, when you tap on this grading button, you'll immediately go into the grading tab, nice and easy. It's the same here with the nodes and the printer lights. Versioning and playback shortcut keys can be used across many tabs. So again, this is just a switch profile button. If you're not happy with this multi-action button, you can go ahead to the navigation dropdown and place it with a standard switch profile button as per some of the other switch profile buttons. You can see down the bottom here, we have our dials. And if we click on this bottom circle here, you can see we can tweak all the parameters for this dial below. For example, this dial action takes you to the first and last frame of a clip. So if you rotate the dial counterclockwise, it will take you to the first frame. And if you rotate the dial clockwise, it will take you to the last frame. If you tap on this dial or press on the screen, it will show your reference wipe as per the pink icon in the corner. You'll see that this icon on the left looks a little different. This is because this is a dial stack. A dial stack on the Stream Deck Plus enables you to push down the dial to change the functionality of the dial. So if we go into the contents, this is a JKL scroll wheel, but if we tap the dial, it'll change to jogging per second. And if we tap the dial again, it'll change to jog per frame. In this way, we can swap really easily by just pushing down on our dial to swap between JKL, second, and frame. If we go into the printer lights menu as well, by just tapping on the printer lights key, you can see all of our printer light buttons are dial stacks. You can visually tell because there's a little dial stack icon on the top right hand corner here. If we go into this dial stack, you can see that by pressing down the dial, we swap between full printer light, half printer light, and quarter printer light. So again, if I tap the dial on the Stream Deck, you can see that working here. Swiping across to the second screen, it works the same for the other printer lights. Going back to the home page with the exit button, we won't go through each profile but that gives you a little bit of an overview of what the different buttons mean. Okay, so this is good to go almost. We need to import the Resolve keyboard preset, but we'll do that at the end. For now, we're gonna go back up to the preferences and we're just gonna shift click all of these profiles and just clear them because I'm gonna show you how to import each profile individually. You should import profiles individually if you don't want to lose any of the customization you may have used on your Stream Deck or other Stream Decks. So I'm gonna go ahead down here and just import a profile. I'm gonna to navigate to my Stream Deck Plus folder into the Windows OS folder, Profiles Presets, and you'll see we have all of our individual profiles ready to go. I'll start off by just opening it up and I can go ahead and delete this default profile. I'll go ahead and import number two and number three, and you continue doing that for all of the packs. If I go back to the home menu and see what profile this selects, you can see that it hasn't linked automatically to the correct profile. Importing profiles individually means that we just need to go ahead and relink the switch profile buttons to their correct profile. For example, we're on the project key right now, and it says that it'll take us to our home profile, which is incorrect. We need to click on here and select DVR project. Now, when I tap the project button on our Stream Deck, it'll take us to the correct profile. Again, we'll need to make sure that our exit switch profile buttons are set to DVR Home. Elgato has a little glitch where even if it displays the correct profile, you'll just need to go ahead and reselect it, even if it says the correct profile name. You'll only have to do this once just to ensure that it is doing the right thing. We'll go ahead and click the exit button and that takes us back. 
For the multi-action keys, we'll just have to go in here and again, go to our switch profile button and change that to our correct profile. Exiting back out here now, if I click the edit profile, it'll take us to the edit profile. And again, just going ahead and resetting the switch profile buttons. And now both of these will work and take us back to our home menu. It's as simple as that. So you'd go through and port each profile and it'll take a few minutes to relink all of the switch profile buttons back to their correct profiles. If possible, I would definitely recommend using the master backup file. It's a one-click option, nice and easy. You can see that there's text on these icons here, and we can go ahead, once you've learnt the pack, you can go ahead and just remove this show title button. Removing the titles doesn't have any effect on the functionality of the keys. Um, it just means that you have a cleaner interface. Um, so once you've used the pack for a few weeks, uh, go ahead and slowly remove the titles if you wish, or of course you can leave them on if you prefer. Lastly, opening up Resolve, let's go ahead and import our Resolve keyboard preset. Okay, so we're in Resolve here, and if we go to DaVinci Resolve, keyboard customization, you can see we have our keyboard customization menu here, and we're currently not set to any preset. If we go ahead, hit the ellipsis, and go import preset, navigating to our Windows OS, profiles presets, resolve preset, colorist keyboard preset plus, hitting open, and that's it, nice and simple. All of our keyboard shortcuts should work immediately out of the box with our master backup profile that we exported. Potentially with only two button clicks, you've now got a fully functioning Stream Deck Plus, which has a whole host of really useful shortcuts for setting up your project, conforming, color grading, printer lights, the whole thing. Definitely have a look at my previous video, which shows the detail of the pack. And if you're on my website here, you can scroll down, see how the other Elgato software products that I've released can work. And again, if you really want to dig in to see what kind of shortcuts are mapped, go to the Stream Deck Plus and download the PDF preview, which will give you all the information that you need. I hope that's been helpful, guys. Comment down below if there's any issues or questions that you have, and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers.